Okay, so in the topological sorting, basically uh, it is a sorting of the dependent task. And uh, if uh, we can represent such type of task using a DAG, that is the directed or cyclic graph, then if we want to find out the dependencies and a proper sequence, then we can use this topological sorting for uh, uh, finding the dependency in between the tasks. So we can assume that we need to schedule a series of tasks such as classes or construction jobs where we cannot start one task until after its predictive site are completed. Like uh, the example for this is if uh, you people are storing data uh, design and analysis algorithm for this, this particular subject, uh, two subjects should be uh, already completed. That is the programming in C and the data structure and algorithm. So the study of design and analysis of algorithm is basically dependent on the completion of the study of the data structure and algorithm and the programming in C. So because those, uh, uh, those basic concepts are required before studying the highest, uh, some these are the advanced concept and the analysis part uh, of the of a particular algorithm. So in the data structure, you people have studied about the algorithm and here we are just analyzing the algorithm, like which algorithm is better and why in terms of complexity. So we wish to organize the task into linear order that allows us to complete them one at a time without violating any predictive site. Okay, and we can model the problem using a DAG, that is the directive or cyclic graph. Means there will not be any cycle in that particular graph. So if it is a cycle, if, uh, if, if there will be a cycle, then the task cannot be completed because they, uh, in that situation, like you people study in the operating system, a uh, deadlock type situation will occur there. Okay, so a graph is directed because one task is the side of another, and the vertices have a directed relationship in the DAG. It is a cyclic because a cycle would indicate a conflicting series of requisites that could not be completed without violating at least one prerequisite. So the process of laying out the vertices of a DAG in a linear order to meet the prerequisite rules is called basically the topological sorting. So this is the example which I have, which I have uh, told in the previous slide, like uh, there can be some courses and suppose this is a hierarchy, like before starting this particular course, uh, the concept of these courses must be known to the student. So this course is dependent on this and this course is dependent on this. Okay, so this is the dependency task basically. So is there any systematic way of linearly arranging the courses in the order that they should be taken? Yes we can use for that purpose the topological sorting. Now, what is the topological sorting? We'll start in the next slide. So before that, just discuss about the DAG, that is the directed cyclic graph. So a DAG or the directed cyclic graph is a directed graph without any cycle. So you can see here in this graph, there is no cycle. So if cycle hota hai, kya hai? there will be a conflicted situation like B is dependent on A and suppose F is dependent on uh, B is dependent on A, E dependent on B, and F is dependent on E, or suppose this relationship is this way, and A is dependent on F. So no task can be started because each and every task is dependent on the other task to complete. So DAGs or the directed cyclic graph arise in modeling many problems that involve a prerequisite constraints, like in the construction projects, course prerequisites, document, words and control, compiler, so some properties of DAG are these. Every DAG must have at least one vertex with in degree zero, mean there is no dependency to that particular vertex or node, and at least one vertex without degree zero, means uh, that will be the last task, and no task is dependent on that particular vertex in the graph. Like uh, if we are uh, observing this particular graph, then this, is, this can be the sink, means no incoming edge to this particular vertex, and it is independent, or we can say it is not dependent to any other task to complete. And this one can be a sync because it is having only in degree, no, uh, no out degree. Okay, so a vertex with zero in degree is called a source vertex, and a vertex with zero out degree can be termed as a sync vertex. So every A is like the A is W comma V, W 
and B. This is the A in the DAG. As a finishing time of W, like finishing time of this will be less than equal, less than the finishing time of this. Means this task must be finished before starting of this particular task. So this task is basically dependent on W. So we can model such type of things using the DAG. So this is a DAG. Okay. So uh, these are the some properties. Means जो मैंने बताया था अभी अच्छा ये तो हो गया इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नाउ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द टॉपोलॉजिकल सॉर्टिंग सो इफ वी आर गिवन अ प्रॉब्लम इन दिस फॉर्म लाइक दिस इज दिस डीएजी इज डिपिक्टिंग द रिलेशनशिप इन बिटवीन मोर देन वन टास्क देन व्हाट विल बी द प्रॉपर ऑर्डरिंग ऑफ दिस टास्क सो दिस विल बी द ऑर्डरिंग बेसिकली सो वी आर जस्ट ऑर्डरिंग ऑल द टास्क सो दैट देयर विल बी नो वायलेशन ऑफ द रूल्स ओके so given a directed graph g equal v comma e means sort of vertices and edges a topological sort of g is an ordering of v such that for any edge u comma v u comes before v in the ordering this is the edge like a comma c so a will come before the c because the c is dependent on a so what we will do we simply arrange order the task in uh, the topological order and just connect all the vertices with the edges as like they are connected in the main dag okay so this can be another example for this like we are having this particular graph uh, dag and this is the topological ordering so now how this ordering is calculated or computed so we are having algorithm for this purpose this is another example like the topological sorting uh, so you can see here in this one and in this one you can see the arrows are from only left to right okay if this is the sequence here if this is the sequence here then arrows are from this left direction to right direction only so means the dependency have a left to right hai. if suppose in this type of ordering if there is an a which is from right to left then uh, Uh, means that is the violation of a property like uh, that can be uh, some kind of deadlock over there okay so in such cases uh, that that is not basically the proper topological ordering of such task and the next important thing is this the topological sort is not unique so it is same like like uh, if we are let's say if we are having options like suppose this is the node a and this is the node b so in the case of topological sorting uh, the ordering or the result we get that will not be unique because suppose we are having this type of situation these two vertices are dependent on each other like it is a and uh, it is b and c and b is dependent on a and c is dependent on a so it may be possible like uh, when this node will complete its execution or the processing at this end completed then it's up to us like which one next we are choosing for next further processing because now it is independent because it uh, it has uh, taken input from the completion of this task a and it is also have taken the input from the completion of task a now these both are independent and we can choose any one if we are choosing this one then that will be a different order and if we are choosing this one then that, uh, that will be a different order so for this particular graph suppose this is the graph then we can have several uh, topological ordering for this particular graph so because that is based basically uh, depends on the selection of the node in the intermediate processing so for the topological sorting we are having two types of uh, algorithms there first one is the recursive algorithm that is based on the dfs that is the dfs for search traversal and second one is a non recursive or the q based algorithm and if we are talking about the complexity then the complexity of both algorithms are same that is theta uh, o or theta of v plus c so in this uh, algorithm uh, we simply give the input of the graph then for that particular graph for every node or the vertex of that graph we will call this dfs so the call dfs for all the vertices on the g to compute the fb and i think you have remember you people have remember what is the fb it is the finishing time so in the dfs search or the dfs search there are uh, two uh, time stamp first one is the d v and second one is the fb suppose it is f it is b so it is the discovery time of a particular node 
and it is the finish time of the particular node. Okay, so that was uh, in the DFS traversal. So we will apply the DFS on all the vertices of the G and simply find out the finishing time for each vertex. And if the G contains a back is V comma W, that is finishing time of W is greater than finishing time of V for a particular age, uh, V comma W, then this algorithm will report the error. Otherwise, the each vertex finish time will be pre uh, prepared to a list by using a stack. So basically, what we will do, we will uh, push the finishing times of each vertex of this graph G into the stack. Like you can see here, this is the graph and it is some kind of uh, it, it, it is the uh, this first one is the discovery time and second one is the finish time in the DFS traversal of this particular graph. So you can see here the minimum discovery time sorry uh, the minimum finish time of this any node in this graph is 6 that is of G. So this minimum uh, finish time node will be inserted in the stack. So G is here. So after this G, its finish time is 6. Next one is 7. It is of F. So F is here. So we will insert into the uh, stack all the nodes of the uh, of this particular graph in the increasing order of their uh, finishing time. So it is 6, 7, 8, sorry, 6, 7, it is 9, it is 10, 11, 14, 15, 16. So it is G, F, H, E, B, D, C, A. Now we simply pop this uh, stack because this will be done in the intermediate processing like it can be the question like if it is so then why we are inserting them okay so we can just print them uh, in such a manner so it will be performed in the intermediate intermediate processing so that's why we are inserting them all in the stack and after that we will pop a stack and uh, just print the nodes in the order like a c d b e h f g at the same like uh, we can we are using the stack for uh, reversing of a reversal of the of a particular string we want to find out the reverse string of a string then we can utilize the stack over there so this is the same logic here so this is the topological ordering ordering of uh, with this particular graph using this dfs sort algorithm so the if we are talking about the complexity of dfs uh, algorithm then it will be o of v plus c because the complexity of the DFS is O of B plus C. Okay, and uh, the intermediate processing here, like we are inserting the vertices in the stack and deleting the vertices from the stack. So insertion will take around O of B and deletion will also take around O of B. So O of B plus C plus O of B means that will be O of C. That is the maximum one. So the complexity using the DFS. Uh, based algorithm for the topological sorting that will be O of V plus C. Now we are having another algorithm that is a non recursive algorithm and it is based on the Q. So we can implement topological sort using a Q instead of, a, of recursion. Like uh, uh, what is the logic here? First of all, uh, find out the edges with in degree equal zero. Okay, so means we need to map all the edges Oh, sorry, all the vertices with n degree equal zero. And after getting that list, just uh, what we will do, we simply select those nodes whose n degree is zero, and we will put all those nodes into the queue. Then one by one, we simply uh, decue an element from the queue and uh, uh, add that into the final ordering and reduce the n degree of the adjacent node of to that uh, to that particular vertex. So first visit all edges, counting the number of edges that lead to each vertex. And uh, all vertices with no precursor are placed in a queue. Then begin processing the queue. When vertex W is taken off the queue, it is printed and all neighbors of the W have their count decremented by one. A count means in degree count. Now place on the queue any neighbor whose count becomes zero. If the queue becomes empty without printing all the vertices, then the graph contain a cycle. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we will have a proper topological sorting order. So this is the non recursive algorithm for the queue based approach. So here, first of all, we need to map for each vertex its in degree. Then 
we will have a queue and uh, we will enqueue those vertices whose integer is equal to 0 now final ordering will be done how this is the logic for the ordering repeat until queue is empty queue the first vertex v from the queue ordering plus equal v so what we will do we will simply delete an element from the queue and uh, we simply add that element into the ordering and we decrease the in degree of all the neighbors of that particular node by one so basically a logic kya hai jaise we are having this thing so abhi uh, this node is dependent on this node so suppose its in degree is 1 its in degree is 1 so when it this node completed its processing means the dependencing will over so its in degree will be reduced to 0 its in degree will be reduced to 0 now the integrity of this vertex in this vertex is zero okay and after this processing if some nodes in degrees become zero then we simply add that node into the queue so if all the vertices are processed then the operation is successful otherwise there is a cycle okay so let's understand this by an example here now this is the mapping for this particular graph so in degree of a is 0 in degree of b is 0 in degree of c is 1 okay in degree of d is 2 e is 2 f is 2 so 0 0 1 2 2 2 okay so initially what we will do we simply select the vertices is in degree 0 that is b and a so now you can see here b is in degree is 0 and a is in degree is 0 and we can select any one to insert in the queue if we are taking this one then order will ordering will start from a if we uh, simply insert in queue this one first then ordering will start from here okay so here the uh, these are inserted into the queue like first b then a now what is the step this vacuum an element from the queue so b will be out and add it into the ordering sequence and reduce the in degree of all the nodes which are adjacent to b by one so B K Jobi Elfin nodes and like C and D. So its in degree is zero, its in degree is one, its in degree is zero, it is two, two, two. So when this node is inserted into the queue and when it is popped out from the queue, then its neighbor nodes are these C and D. So these in degree will be reduced by one. And if in this process the in degree of any node is reduced by uh, reduced to zero then that node will be added into the queue. So you can see here in this process, the in degree of C is reduced to zero. So it will be added to the queue. So now uh, C will here and uh, okay, this is the scene. So now the queue contains A and C. Now A will be out from queue. A will be added to the ordering and degree of the addition node to A will be reduced by one. So this is the only addition node to A it in degree becomes zero so you can see here now the degree of the d is zero so d will be added into the queue now which node will be deleted from the queue c will be deleted from the queue c will be here and in degree of the neighbor node of the c who is the neighbor node of the c e and f this in degree will be reduced by one okay and uh, we once I reduce here abhi to is process me kisi bhi node ki in degree zero nahi hui to kya hoga now we simply uh, remove the other node that is the D or its neighbor node jo, we will add it here and its neighbor node kaun kaun se hai? E or F in the key in degree kya hoga? we reduce by 1 so these will be added in any order dependent on the user now E is having no neighbor so E will be here and same for F M will be here so this is the topological sequence and it can be like a b c d e f or b a c d e f or b a c d e f b a c d f e because we are having uh, two times we are having options like to select which one node like a or either a or b or either e or f okay so this algorithm is having some kind of whole processing in the form of slide so this is the initial condition b is a here now b is removed and added here so now it's situation a comma c uh, okay next uh, uh, a will be deleted so yaha degree dekho modify or jaise a remove hoga to d ki in degree kya ho jayegi zero ho jayegi it is zero a come here d into the q 
नाउ सी विल बी आउट तो सी विल कम हियर और सी के एड सेंड नोड ई और एफ इनके इन डिग्री वन वन नाउ डी विल कम आउट डी विल बी हियर एंड इन डिग्री ऑफ ई एंड एफ विल कम हियर तो हियर वी आर हैविंग एफ ई तो वन एफ विल हियर दैन ई विल हियर तो दिस इज द टॉपोलॉजिकल सिक्वेंस ऑर्डरिंग ऑफ ऑफ दिस टास्क विच आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एनालिसिस सो यू कैन सी हियर this mapping means finding the degree so it will execute for number of vertices so its contribution will be o of b here we are just uh, what we are doing here just selecting or inserting all the vertices whose in degree is equal to 0 so this process also uh, will be we can say uh, take place for o of b times jitne vertex hain wo one by one means it will execute for uh, once for every vertex okay so its complex uh, its uh, cost will be around o of b also this is the ordering in this also the node will be added after the processing so it will contribute around o of b o of b o of b o of b then we are just repeating until q is empty so decrease the first element vertex from the queue har bar ek ek vertex wahan se remove hoga so iski cost bhi o of b aayegi and uh, this is the ordering plus equal v एक एक एल जो जो भी वहां से रिमूव होता जाएगा यही ये वाला है सेम डिक्रीज द इन डिग्री ऑफ ऑल द वीज नेबर बाय वन इन द मैप सो यहाँ एडिसेंसी वाला रूल आ गया कि उसके एडिसन जो भी नोड्स हैं तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा विल चेक फॉर द एजेस एजेस चेक होंगे तो उसके इसमें इट विल डिपेंडेंट ऑन द ई ओके एंड हेयर क्यू प्लस इक्वल एनी नेबर्स ये एडिसेंसी वाला लॉजिक है यहाँ पे सो इट विल डिपेंड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ एजेस So the total complexity is basically dependent on the overall complexity is O of B plus E means total number of vertices and total number of edges. So if suppose the graph is the sparse graph, it means the number of edges are less as compared to the less as compared to the number of vertices. So in that case, this will be the dominating means there is uh, no significance of the number of edges. So the complexity will be O of B. Now these are some of the applications of the topological sorting, like uh, scheduling job from the given dependencies, instruction scheduling, determine the ordering of the compilation tasks to perform uh, in make files. So, like uh, there are some kind of some kind of libraries are there. There we are having functions. So if we want to uh, want to find out the dependency in between the function, then we can use this topological sorting over there. So this is all about the topological sorting.